Hey everybody, this is Cool Simon Sky, and welcome to System Test 6 with the ESL 1500 Series Fire Limb Control Panel. Let's get straight into the video. So first of all, we do have a change in the system, and if we open up our panel, you can tell that the wires look kind of different, huh? Uh, so you can tell that there is a set of wires over here, and it's kind of running down through this hole right here, through the conduit or whatever. There's no conduit, but... As you can tell, it is still wired to the NAX, and you guys are going to see what I did. So, remember how I said I was going to get a booster panel? Well, I did. The model of this booster panel is a Silent Night SK5395, which is typically the older version of the Silent Night 5495, which is still being produced today. Uh, however, this panel isn't being produced anymore, but if we open it up, you can tell that I have already done all the wiring, and there is no troubles, and I've gotten uh, two pack of batteries to hook it up and stuff like that, so therefore we wouldn't have any troubles on both the booster panel and the main panel. And this is just your diagram and stuff like that, and as you can tell, there is some writings on it. So, and yeah, as you can tell, it, probably came, it definitely came out of a building for sure. And you can tell I have already did the wiring over here. And the input, so I am still using Class A, which is pretty nice. So that is where these pigtails are from, because the alarms are wired to the output of this panel. And the input is wired into the uh, the uh, NAC. And NAC 2 is still not being used. <laughs> so, what does this mean? The purpose with this uh, booster panel is it's supposed to provide more NACs to the system and also provide a DC current. But, so therefore, we will have filtered DC power to my fire alarm control panel. So, therefore, I can use any alarm that I have that cannot handle FWR, for example, simplex. So, therefore, we can have simplex stuff on my panel. So we're going to go ahead and shut it and I'll show you guys what I have up on the system. So over here we have the Firelight BG12. This is of course the first generation model. You guys have seen this uh, in the system test too. And it is back up again and we will be pulling this full station today. And if we follow through, we have a Wheelock 7002T-24. For those who don't know about these 7002Ts, they are very famous for their stroke skipping. and these were obviously discontinued because of the low candela output on the strobe and that's why they stopped making them and stuff. I did get this from my school. It was located in the library of my high school so that's pretty cool. And we still have the same system sensor heat detector. Well you can't really see it. But and also over here and yeah I know my lights are on. I just I was kind of listening to some music and jamming out a little bit. But over here we have the, still have the ESL smoke detector and we have another Wheelock 7002T. This alarm actually sounds better than the 7002T that's in the other room. But overall this also came out from my school. I'm not sure where exactly where it came from. I just know there was only one 7002T but I never knew there was actually two. But still pretty cool. Below we have a Firelight BG10L. It has the key lock. So. Fun fact about this pulse station and the alarm, these two are a very common setup for buildings that were made in the 1980s and 1990s. So you guys will probably see these, every, see this combo every once in a while. So, Fire the BG10L, sub and 2T. And over here, we still have the Gensex GXX strobe. I did not feel like taking it down, so. And in here, we have still have the same ESL smoke detector that which is probably not going to change for a while and over here we have the Firelight BG10 this is not a BG10L this is an actual BG10 with the hex key in the workshop we have a notifier MPG12L with the stopper you guys have already seen this pulse station before in my other system tests well actually I've only used this once in uh, system test one I think yeah it was the first system test that I used this pulse station and up here we have a Wheelock 34T-24. Unfortunately, I do not have another 7000 2T. It's the same thing as a 7000 2T, it's just except it doesn't have a strobe on it. 
over here we have still have Gensex Jetflex strobes and we still have the ESL smokes. And uh, if we turn the light on in here, we still have the G other GXS strobe and the sensor heat detector. In this room, I took down the Simplex 29 pole station behind the water heater of my laundry room. I put up the Firelight PG8 to go with the rest of the system. So um, yeah, just pull straight down. Maybe we'll test that for the last part of the system. <laughs> So uh, anyway, that is everything, and we'll be going ahead, yeah, I had to put that there for a reason. We'll be pulling the Firelight BG-12, so uh, let me go grab my ear protection quick. Anyway guys, I am back, I couldn't find my uh, hearing protecting headsets, but I am listening to music to kind of deflect the sound of the alarms going off, because they are pretty loud. But um, anyway, before I go ahead and pull this pull station, just let you guys know if you suffer from uh, strobe flashing strobe lights, I recommend you do not watch this video. So, I'm gonna go ahead and unlock the pull station, and, oh, that's, okay, it's unlocked, so we're gonna go ahead and pull it in three, two, one. That's painfully loud and glad I'm wearing earphones. Let me go ahead and reset it. How is Zone 2 in trouble? I have no clue why every time the fire alarm system gets activated, Zone 2 goes into trouble. I wonder if it's because of the vibration from the sun fountain. Well, actually, the trouble came up after I reset the system. So I'm not sure what's going on with Zone 2, really. Um, it has done this a few times, actually. And I'm not sure if it's because the resistor or any of the wires getting loose in this pull station right here. But overall, I'm just going to keep the panel silenced for now until I figure out what's going on with Zone 2. We're going to go ahead and activate this Firely BG-10, which is one of the most unreliable pull stations, but we're just going to use it anyway. <laughs> gonna see why people don't really like the BG-10 too much so and let's see where's the key this is a snap-on hex wrench all right this is gonna be pretty long so bear, bear with me bear with me guys I know the is pretty loose too but there we go you see the label right here, excessive tightening of Allen head screw to back plate could cause undetectable housing fracture resulting in false alarm. And this is the reason why BG-10s aren't being made anymore. Let's go ahead and reset it. Since I was like kind of keeping it a little loose, but, but not too loose, and that's good. Um, kind of have it like that. That should be good, yep. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and pull the Firely BG-8. The heck? It just went off for a brief second. Is 
That is so strange. But anyway, the BG8 has been reset. Um so I have zone 2 disabled just to see if there's anything that I got loose on this Fire BG10 and as you can tell, I'm going to grab my lamp. You can kind of see that the pole station looks wired up correctly. It doesn't seem loose or anything like that. And I just, and I just took it out of the back box still. I didn't touch the terminals, but here's a good look at it. You can tell that nothing's loose on it, so it could be just a faulty pole station. But we're gonna go ahead and replace it. So I have replaced the pole station. It is right here, the Firelight Beach Channel, and I put up. My simplex T, one of my simplex T bars, and you can tell system still the same. All I did was just replace the pole. Oh, so I'm actually gonna put this uh, system on walk test. And I'm going to go ahead and set off this pole station and also that detector, and then we'll call it a system test. And let's see, I found, I actually found my magnet. I don't, there it is. Right here on my, you know, well plates. And this is an FCI key. There we go. So this is up there. Hold on. There we go. Well, anyway, guys, that is it for System Test 6. Let me know what you guys think of the video. Leave a like and also subscribe. But anyway, guys, thank you all for watching, and I will talk to you all later. Peace.